the school. I plan on taking pictures. Are y'all going to uh, see that? Okay. started putting in computers, we had to have data drops, which meant that they had to go through the ceiling between the two floors. Well, the structural engineer discovered that we have, this building was built, with six inch concrete beams that run from here to there down the hall, like every six feet. So they had to literally bring in a diamond drill bit to get through the concrete to put the data cables through so that we could have computers. And also, when y'all were here, there wasn't air conditioning, I'm sure. <laughs> well, during, during construction, they took out all of the glass levers, levers in the top of these walls, and they filled it in with some other kind of substance. This area right here was the front office where the principals um, <laughs> were secretaries and whatnot. This is now the counselor's suite. We have the registrar and the registrar's assistant. We have the, the underground. All right. When they built the building, in addition to the concrete beams through the ceilings, these two wings were built on uh, almost like railroad track pilings so that it sits up above ground level. It's extremely interesting. When we get to B-Wing, I'll tell you that story. Okay. Yeah. Pretty fancy. Welcome, first of all. We're happy to have you. I'm Murray Adelstein. I'm president of the Booster Club, the Athletic Booster Club. And when you finish your tour, we would love for you to come and stop by. We have a few Dulles items that we're selling for the Booster Club. But more important, we have this new wall of fame, which you can come look at later. And we have forms for bricks. And this is both a project to be everlasting for the school, but it's also a fundraiser for the Booster Club. And the Athletic Booster Club supports all 17 sports at Dallas High School. Building on your left. Now that's my very best school teacher voice. I will be starting my 37th year in education this fall. So I still know how to raise my voice. <laughs> the left side of this building was constructed and dedicated in 1995. All of this to your right, with the exception of the restrooms, those are new. This was all outside, and all of this area back here was part of the bus ramp. Mm -hmm. So they've taken part of the bus ramp, but they, they did expand it kind of lengthways instead of the other way. <laughs> Probably not. 
that they had when I came here was about half this size and it is now another computer lab. So they were they were very grateful to move out of here. Oh, oh, it was. Yeah. This, is, this is changed. Oh my gosh. Jackie Rocha. Oh, I went on that. I was in that. Flag band trip. Thought we were all getting. I remember. Oh my God! I don't even remember taking that picture. Yeah. Yeah. Nineteen sixty-five. There's Frierson. We Now our courtyard area, kids can go out there and eat, and it's very well maintained, we have lawn service that comes every week. We also have a family of rabbits that live out here. We have a mama and a papa and four babies. And that kind of goes along with the cats that we used to have that live under the A wing and the B wing. Now, we really liked these cats because they kept the barman population down. Since they finished construction, I don't know what happened to the cats, but we have mice. We have rats. And one fall, when we came back to school, we had a family of raccoons that lived in the ceiling. And there's nothing more disconcerting than to be working after kids have gone home and all of a sudden you hear something over your head and this raccoon falls through the ceiling. <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's not, not fun at all. <laughs> okay, we're going to be. <laughs> I happen to find it. When this building was built and you had typing classes, you used manual typewriters. Well, several years, you know, the schools really do progress and they went from manual to electric. And the way they got to, or the way they put in the electric was to go underground. Remember I said that these two wings were built on a trestle type construction so that they are above ground. 